Do you want to learn how to make your own Arduino based CCTV camera system using image processing, Arduino Uno and PIR sensor? Then watch this tutorial from start to the very end because at the end of this tutorial you will be able to make your own image processing application that can be used with Arduino to capture images automatically and manually. Let's get started. So my friends, first of all, download 2.4.10.1940 version of the MGO CV and then just simply install this. You don't have to make any changes, just you have to click the next in the green button and that's it. Now, as it's gonna take some time, so I will fast forward this. So friends now we are done with the MGO CV installation now it's time to do the MGO CV settings so for that first of all we will have to open the VB the Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition so double click Visual Basic 2010 Express and then click on new project and make sure that you select the Windows Forms application and OK So the first step is to click on the project and add references, click on the browse, see, emgo, pen and select all these DLL files. Now hold the shift key, select these DLL files and click OK. So after this, C, MGO, Ben, and I'll select this, the X86. Over here and now click select all these GLL files hold the shift key and now click over here and select copy of New York okay now again now this time you have to click this drag Now do same for this, select this, hold shift key and if new are. So now we are done with the MGO CV settings. You can see the references are added, the test data is added, the x86. So we are done with the basic settings. Now we will discuss circuit design. So my friends, this is the complete circuit diagram of the image processing based CCTV camera system using Arduino and PIR sensor. This circuit is designed in the Eagle 6.3.0 professional version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs in Eagle, then you can watch my tutorials. So my friends, as you can see, the connections are very simple. I have already used PIR sensor in so many tutorials. You can watch those tutorial. And over here you can see the PIR sensor the VCC pin is connected with 5 volts of the Arduino, its ground is connected with the ground of the Arduino and its output is connected with pin 4 of the Arduino. If you want you can use any other pin. So and then the Arduino is connected with the computer or laptop using a USB cable and then the camera is connected with the laptop. You can use the laptop default or camera or you can use any other external camera or you can use any wireless camera. So. That's it. The hardware side is very simple. Now I will show you the interfacing and then after that we will start the controller programming and then application designing. So friends, as you can see clearly the pins are labeled with VCC out and ground. So the VCC of the PR sensor is connected with 5 volts of the Arduino and the out is connected with pin 4 of the Arduino and the 
ground is connected with the Arduino ground. So over here you can see the output of the BIR sensor is connected with pin 4 and the rest of the two wires are connected with the, the VCC and the ground. So my friends, this is a program written for the image processing via CCTV camera system using Arduino and BIR sensor. So as you can see, we are starting with instruction in teacher BIR sensor equals to 4. As I explained the circuit diagram that the output of the PIR sensor will be connected with pin 4 of the Arduino and integer flag equals to 0 so uh, I will tell you why I'm using this flag so and one more thing I have very detailed tutorial on how to use flag and Arduino programming so if you want to learn that you can watch my tutorial and then we start with a white setup serial draw begin as we'll be doing serial communication between the Arduino and the laptop so for that we will have to activate the serial communication and this is the board which is 9600 pin mode PIR sensor which is an input device we will be using this for detecting a human and digital write PIR sensor is low and uh, sealed dot print LN so hi how are you just uh, for the debugging purposes that my Arduino uh, is communicating with a computer so it will just print a message to a serial monitor and then white loop if digital read PIR sensor equals equals high so it will check if there is anyone in front of the uh, PIR sensor and the flag equals equals zero so which we already set to zero so if the flag is zero and the PIR sensor has detected something then send this uh, small message to the computer application that the intruder is detected and make this flag equals to one so we just change the flag one as you know that uh, when our PI sensor detects something it stays on for a couple of seconds and you can change the duration of uh, the, the, the equation so it will remain active for some time so at daytime it won't send this message again and again to the computer application because uh, the flag is changed so next time it will check if the if the digital read PI sensor equals equals low and the flag equals equals one which was already set then we will simply change the flag back to zero so each time the PR sensor is activated it will only send one time message so each time it will detect a human uh, it will only send uh, a message one time So my friends, now it's time to design the uh, application and in the beginning of the tutorial we already covered the MQCV installation and setting. So now let's uh, design the form. Click on the toolbox and search. look for the picture box, double click. Click over here center image okay so as our computer will be doing serial communication with the Arduino so for this we will be needing a serial port so double click and as you can see over here it's added we also going to be needing two timers so double click and again double click so two uh, timers are added so select this one and change this to 200 and make this true click over here true and make it 1000 so 1000 millisecond equals to one second and now we will be needing uh, five labels so click click over here so this is label one double click so five labels are added so later you can really arrange these uh, labels okay now we will be needing two text boxes Text box will be used for displaying the number of pictures captured, and the other one will be used when a message will be received from the microcontroller. So, double click, and 
and over here you can see its name is text box too so click over here make it multi-line drag this we also gonna be needing one button for the manual if you want to manually capture a picture so double click and let's uh, use this over here or let's use it over here okay now select this and check for the scroll bars and select both and uh, now let's change its name to Before you start the programming first of all make sure that you make two folders uh, with any name so I've just created two folders with the name picture PIR and picture so, so when I'll be taking picture manually by pressing a button those pictures will be stored in pictures and the pictures uh, which will be captured with the help of the PIR sensor and when a human is detected in a camera so in that way the uh, pictures will be stored in pictures uh, PIR folder later we will uh, copy its link in the in, in the programming so my friends this is the programming we start by importing some libraries so I've already explained uh, these uh, libraries in my previous uh, image processing tutorials so and then the public class form one dim count is integer I will be using this variable for counting the number of uh, images which are captured and uh, later these uh, uh, number will be uh, displayed in text box dim face detected as integer and dim face present as integer so I will use these two variables as the flags and then dim web is capture is equal to new capture and zero so zero means that I'm using the com the laptop camera so if, if you want to use external camera then you will enter one two or threes and now the private sub timer one so if we click over here timer one and uh, the interval is 200 milliseconds so if I double click over here over here you can see I'm using a function its name is faces so it will jump to the faces portion and over here you can see dim photo is image of BGR and byte and photo is equal to web dot retrieve BGR frame then dim current center is new point and dim face detection is new case gate classifier so this is uh, the link to the folder where the the hard case gate frontal face default.xml file is stored I've already explained this in my previous video tutorial on image processing so and then face detected equal to zero then try dim image is image of gray byte equals to photo dot convert of gray byte this is also function and for each face is rectangle in face detection dot detect multi scale image 1.1 and 8 so you can just play around with these two values for the better result and photo dot draw face new bgr color dot white so when a human face is detected in camera uh, a square box will be drawn around it and uh, the four present its line weight so the width of the line and then we are de using these instructions just simply to find its x and y values and then we using these two instructions to convert it into a string values and then these instructions are used to display these string this the string the human detected and the human detection and, and, and picture capturing so these texts will be uh, displayed with the boxes and then label for dot text equals to face dot string and face detected equals one. So each time a face will be detected, its value will be changed from zero to one. And next picture box dot image equals to photo dot to bit map and catch exception ex as exception and then try. Then form one. So when the form is loaded, the time when the form will be loading. First of all, what it will do? It will close the serial port and uh, the serial port one dot port name is equal to com5 so my Arduino you know 
board is in installed on Comfy, so that's why I'm using 5 for here. If your Arduino board is installed on 3 or 4 or 6, then you just simply change this number over here. And the baud rate, I'm using 9600 over here. And the serial port 1 dot data bits equals 8. And then the serial port 1 dot parity equals to parity dot. Now, I, will, I have already explained all of these instructions in very detail in my previous video tutorials on image processing. So you can watch those tutorials for the best understanding. And, and at the end, make sure that you include this so serial port 1 dot open. Otherwise, the serial communication won't work. And then this is for the manual capturing the button port. So if you come over here and and double click on the button, so you can see count equals to count plus one text box one dot text equals to count. So this text box will display total number of the pictures. And uh, then after that, dim photo save is image of BGR byte, and then photo save equals to web dot retrieve BGR frame. We just access one picture and save that in photo.save and then what we do photo.save and then this is the link to the folder as I explained that we make two folders and name pictures and pictures PIR so that is the picture folder and over here you can see I'm using my name and uh, then text box one dot text plus dot jpg so it will increment the picture so it will display numbers then after that we are using a data receive function so uh, over here you can see which is serial port dot data receive so the, the, the data that will be received from the Arduino you know will be actually stored in my data uh, and uh, so my data equals to serial port one dot read existing which is a function if text box two dot invoked required then text box two dot invoked direct cause which is sub is a function and text box two dot text plus equals data and this is the method invoker else text box two dot text n is equal to my data so we are tr uh, using the try and cage exps just uh, in case if there to, to cage an error if there is any error and there is a timer too so if you just come over here and click over here you can see over here we are checking every one second that in string text box 2 dot text intruder detected so we are checking every second that check that whether we have received this message or not and whether any human is detected or not so if a message is received from, from the microcontroller and if there is someone in, in a camera, a human in the camera, if these both these conditions are satisfied, then count equals to count plus one and text box one dot text is equal to count and then photo save is image of PGR by photo save is equal to web dot retrieve PGR frame and photo save and then we will use this link to save that picture in the picture PAR. So I'm using two folders and again that uh, so over here the text box one dot text plus jpg so it will increment the picture and uh, it, uh, it uh, won't uh, replace the existing picture and then we just clear the text box to dot text so i will provide a link in the description from where you can download the, the, the programming so now let's check this